Well, breaking news just coming in right now. Gospel singer Sviso Nguane has passed on. Details on his death are unclear at this stage. He died in a Johannesburg hospital on Monday morning. Now, reports say the singer was coughing up blood last night. Nguane made headlines last year after he bought his pastor an expensive German-made vehicle. Well, breaking news coming in just now. Gospel singer Sfiso Nguane has actually passed on. Details on his death are unclear at this stage. He died in a Johannesburg hospital on Monday morning. Reports say the singer was coughing up blood last night. Nguane made headlines last year after he bought his pastor an expensive German-made vehicle. Well, breaking news coming in just now. Gospel singer Sfiso Nguane has passed on. Details on his death are unclear at this stage. He has died in a Johannesburg hospital on Monday morning. Now reports say the singer was coughing up blood last night. Nguane has made headlines last year after he bought his pastor an expensive German-made vehicle. Well, joining us for further on the story is Cindy Mabi. Cindy, thank you so much for joining us. Just to your reaction on to the passing away of Sviso Nguane, is this actually true? We, uh, good afternoon. We are all very shocked by the news of hearing of gospel great Sviso Nguane. Uh, the South African music fraternity totally devastated. At the moment, what we know is that a report broke based on a tweet that was sent by uh, someone who seems to be a health worker uh, at a hospital in Brazil, in a town where Sifo Mane was admitted. And since then, the developments are such that he was allegedly uh, coughing up blood and he had been ill before, an award-winning musician, uh, somebody who ministered to so many others and inspired up-and-coming artists. At the age of 37, it is really heart-wrenching. It is shocking to hear of the passing of Officer Sifo Mwani. Now, do you know at this stage as to exactly what has happened to, to, to this exact moment? At the moment... Yes, Cindy, can you hear me? Cindy, I hope that you can hear me. Well, there's, that was Cindy Mabi just giving us the latest updates on the passing away of Sviso Nguane. Well, these are news just coming in right now. Word on the street is that Sviso Nguane, gospel singer, has actually passed away this morning at a hospital in Johannesburg after a short-term illness. While we're still going to try to get more reactions from people as to their reaction towards the passing away of this gospel singer. Well, breaking news coming in again. We're taking this read. A gospel singer, Sfiso Mwane, has passed on. Details on his death are unclear at this stage. He died in a Johannesburg hospital on Monday morning. The reports say the singer was coughing up blood last night. Mwane made headlines last year after he bought his pastor an expensive German-made vehicle. Now joining us on the phone line is gospel singer Deborah Fazer. Deborah, thank you so much for joining us right here on Anand Seven's newsroom. What's your reaction to the sad news of Swiss Wangwane's passing? Ma'am, it is so sad. I'm very sad to hear this news. Um, the last time I saw Swiss, it was at Moshito. He kept on saying, Mama, 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 please come. There's something that I want to talk to you. And I was like, what is it that you want to talk to me, Cecil? And then he laughed, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was organizing this uh, 31st show that is going to be in Devon, uh, um, December 31st. So now I am so shocked. 
that it was my last time to see him and the last time when he confirmed that the show is going to happen on the 31st of December. It is really sad. We have lost someone who is very important in the music industry, who has, I'm, I'm, I'm even sure that not even, you know, I know that the fans are crying out there because of these sad news that we woke up with today on a Sunday. No. May his soul rest in peace. Now, understanding that you've actually worked with Mr. Nguane very closely, now can you share with us details of his musical journey in South Africa and some of his popular gospel songs? Um, uh, Siso was a very popular singer known as Mr. Fingers. He's been loved by his fans, he's been loved by us as, as a, a, a gospel artist. And Siso was still having a very bright future as far as music is concerned in South Africa. And really, it is a great loss. Now, with regards to the record label that he's worked with, do you perhaps know who else he's worked with in death in this music industry? Um, Siso uh, released his album with his wife like uh, using their own record label but i think he was distributed by um one of the distributors in in in, in but he was no more signed with any recording company now have you of managed which to... that was a great thing that they, they that they have decided to do have you managed to see some of the family members especially their wife after the tragic news and just to get his reaction to to to, the, to this matter I've been trying to get hold of Ayanda since I heard the news because I didn't want to talk to it before they confirmed it. I saw people posting and I saw people talking about it, but it was like maybe they'll come back and say no, it's not true. So I'm still waiting for this moment so somebody to tell me that Swiso is no more. But I tried to call the wife several times. He, he didn't answer. I know then the reason why he didn't answer. Mum Deborah, thank you so much for, for your time and, and for allowing us to speak to you. And now on the line joining us is also Thibaut Tach, who is a South African musician. Um, Thibaut Tach, thank you so much for joining us right here on ANN 7's newsroom. Just share with us your reaction towards the news of, of Sviso Nguane's passing. I, I still find it hard to believe because we were talking on Thursday. Um, I can't get through to the wife. And... Uh, so, uh, you know, at this point it's difficult to even express how one feels because it's just not real. It hasn't sank in my mind to accept. But if it's true, um, I can only say to the family of the Nguanes, you know, the Lord gives and the Lord takes it away. Um, you are not mourning alone. This is my brother. He was the first artist to actually grace us on Touch Central, on Monday Replenishment. Swissong Mani was the first artist to come and do a live worship session. I think it went yeah, since the history of Touch Central. But beyond business, as a human being alone, I, uh, I would have to, I have to be in my space and really accept. My mind can't take this, you know, as news because we spoke on Thursday, and uh, maybe this is a call for all of us, the fathers, or the, you know, all of us to be more appreciative of life and to the people that we've done wrong and the people that we love dearly. Pick up the call, mend the relationship while you're still alive. Now, uh, um, so sorry to I, interrupt you over there. Now, how did you get to know of Swiss when one is passing? Do you know exactly what happened at the stage? I, I, I have no idea because my, my wife is my wife talks with the wife of Swiss on a regular, but when I read stuff on Twitter, I have to verify. I'm a broadcaster myself. So I've been trying to verify the whole day. I just called him and his phone goes straight to voicemail. And hearing that voicemail, hearing his voice saying this is Swiss on one, it, you know, that's, it, it just affirms that this man is still alive yeah, whether you know the social media reports are saying he's gone and if it's on ANN7 you can't go to the extent of reporting on someone else unless it's true so 
I, 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 I just have to be, I just have to deal with accepting. And if that is so, um, it's going to be tough to accept it. It's going to be mm. a very sad December. It's going to be a sad Christmas. Now, you've made mention that you've actually worked very close and have been very close to Sfiso Nwane. Can you just share with us um, his just musical journey in South Africa and in the entire industry as a whole? What type of person was he and, and the type of work that he actually produced? When I started a Christian, when I started a spiritual movement on, med, on radio, Sfiso was the first guy we spoke. And I said, you know, I want to play gospel music on, on mainstream radio. And um, he was the, one of the few people to say, brother, what you've done, it's, it has introduced the music that we share, is the music that gives life, is the music that shows gratitude to the maker, to the creator. If there's a way I can thank you, touch, I'd like to do a song, or if you ever plan on doing a Monday replenishment concert, I'd like to be one of the first artists. So we conceptualized it and we put it together and we we're planning on doing our... Uh, 2017 Easter, we are planning on having a Monday replenishment mm. concert head by, headlined by Sri Um And so it's difficult to accept this when I know there were plans of us doing work together. And um, like I said, it, it hasn't yet, I, I, I can't find myself accepting this till I hear from the wife um, <laughs> and family. I think it's a natural reaction. Allow me to please reserve, you know, myself for now. Um, I think the whole nation is mourning the loss of a legend, the loss of a gifted brother. His music has brought us closer to God and we can't just take his news ordinary that he's gone. This is not just an ordinary man. Now, um, I don't know whether you've actually had the chance to meet up with the family so far. How do you think the reaction is to towards, towards the sudden passing of Sfiso, especially now his wife and his sons? Look, if you follow him on Instagram and social media, you will have an idea that this man loves his family. But I personally know when he moved to Johannesburg last year, it was around last year, December, no, last, yeah, this December, sister came to me and said, hey, I'm looking for a house to buy. And I said, you know, uh, I can help you. Um, and at that time, I was willing to let him stay over um, at my house because they were looking for a property. Um, and um, uh, every time we met, he will come with his wife and kids. And he'll come with his wife. His wife, was, Ayanda, was, uh, was, is, is still his, well, was his manager. I know that much. And um, um, you will hardly see him alone. Hmm. That's what I can tell you. You know, in his black Ziano, it will be him and his family. Um, I, I, I can't speak on behalf of the family. I'm not mm. appointed to be a spokesperson. And if, and if I was, I don't think I'll want to share how they you know, how their reaction is. I mean, it's anybody who loses a father, mm. I don't expect them to celebrate that moment. It has to be sad. Well, Tibo Touch, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for joining us right here on AIN on 7. Well, we actually spoke to Deborah Fraser, Tibo Touch and Cindy Mabe just giving us their reactions towards the sudden passing of Sufo Nguane. Well, let's actually listen to some of Sufo Nguane's um, production and his music career. <laughs> 